It's Saturday morning at 10 a.m., so you know what that means. It's time for What's Up, Ocala? With tens of thousands of viewers every month on our YouTube channel and millions so far on TikTok, we are joined by our host, local owner and broker of Great Expectations Realty, Andrea Praber. Good morning and welcome to What's Up, Ocala. I'm your host, Andrea Praber, and today we are going to take on the age-old question here in Ocala, which is better, Silver Spring Shores or Marion Oaks? If you had to choose one to live in, or if you already live in one, which one would you prefer? Which one do you think is best? Now, from my many years of living here in Ocala, I've been here about 20 years now, I have lived in Silver Spring Shores, and I now live just about a mile outside of Marion Oaks. So I, I feel like I can represent both sides, but here with me today are two ladies that live in those neighborhoods and they are going to duke it out and we are going to decide once and for all, which is the better neighborhood to live in. So ladies, why don't you tell me who you are and what neighborhood you represent? I go first because I got the best one. <laughs> so my name is Elali Fonseca and I'm representing Marion Oaks. And my name is Sharni Monexe. I'm representing Silver Spring Shores. A lot of years. <laughs> I've been in Marion Oaks on and off since 95. Um, and I say on and off because I went to college and did an internship and then I came back. So it still counts 90, since 1995. Oh my goodness. For me, it's been about four years. So I beat you there too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are already getting on. Okay. Wow, a lot of you are really getting in on the com competitive spirit here. Okay. Okay, so I took some of the frequently asked questions. When people are moving to an area, they want schools and uh, hospital location, you know, all sorts of stuff. So there's 11 things that I've narrowed down that you guys are going to compete on. So before we get into those 11 questions and decide a winner, Let's see what you think. What do you love about your neighborhood? I'm going to say that I love the diversity because it's big. I mean, it's big. We, we Diversity. Okay. Well, for me, diversity is definitely something I love about the shows as well. But I really like how quiet it is. Out. So we okay. kind of sort of had a tie. Yeah, that's okay. a tie. Okay. That's a tie. <laughs> All right. Okay. So first thing on the list, food. I'm a foodie. I love food. What restaurants, who, what neighborhood has the most and the best restaurants? Ladies, you both have deer in the headlights look. Like what? Well, I'm thinking because we do have food. I feel like it's a lot of to go. We don't have restaurants, restaurants. I mean, they're close by, but I want to say it's more fast food. Hmm. Yeah, Mary and Oaks, I want to say it's more fast food. I, I think we probably have one restaurant. Well, it's not looking good for Mary and Oaks. All right, what fast food restaurants do you have out there? We have McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, Zaxby's, and we got a whole bunch of food trucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say it's about the same issue. We have restaurants nearby. I would say maybe we are closer to downtown. If I'm you are, from you the are, choice. you are closer. Yeah, to so I would probably claim downtown Ocala. Of course <laughs> you would. Otherwise, you got McDonald's and Burger King too. That yeah. would be a tie, girl. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> it would be a tie. It would be the same thing. And then closer, before you get to downtown, you do have some restaurants too. So wait a minute. If you're claiming downtown, I'm gonna claim 200. Because <laughs> okay. okay. we're about Let's 10 minutes away. That's fair. <laughs> Let's stick to the community, ladies. Let's stick to the community. Well, I'm glad you've both established the proximity to restaurants outside of your neighborhoods, but we're trying to figure out inside the neighborhood. So we're going to have to obviously set some ground rules, some parameters here, or else it's just going to go to mayhem really quickly. Both of these neighborhoods are so big that they have their own zip codes, right? You, Each one has their own zip code? Yes, sorry. 34473. And yours? 34472. Okay, you cheaters. So the new ground rules are everything we discuss has to be within your neighborhood zip code, okay? Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Fair. All right. So. Well, we do have an amazing wings, wing place. Um, you do? Wing stop? Wing? No. Um, it's... Um, crunchies? Crunchies and munchies. munchies. Yep. And it is in 34472. 
and they that have the great. best wings and well, you fries. know zaxby's isn't seven three four four seven three but when who goes to zaxby's though i don't even know how they are still in business because i don't know who goes to zaxby's my but. son every other day <laughs> Right. You got that one. You got it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A lot of you're conceding that one. You've given up the entire food truck village because of crunchies and munchies. Those must be some amazing wings. Plus, there's Christina's Deli, though, too. So, yeah, I guess the Shores does win this one. Those must be some incredible wings. I'm going to have to try it. I have never tried crunchies and munchies. I know that's sad. Because they are good really though. good, too, though. I'm getting some tonight, actually. Okay, y'all are making me hungry. Let's move on to the next one. We're going to go ahead and give Silver Spring Shores that win. All right, how about hospitals, like proximity to a hospital? Because that is something that a lot of people request when they're moving to a new neighborhood. Oh, I got that one, too. Oh, you have some in seven in 34472. We do not in 73. We do have them very close, but not as close as because you have that new emergency room. Yes, we actually we have like a small emergency room on Mary Camp, and I've gone there way too many times to count already. Um, it's really close by. <laughs> I've gone there for myself and my nephews, and they are they are great. It's like a HCA smaller emergency room. They can give you the first you know first care. Right. If you need more, then they can send you to Advent or Gainesville or right something like that. So I beat you on that one too. <laughs> what about we have an urgent care center. Oh well, yeah. It's not yeah. as big as the emergency room, but <laughs> we got something. Well, we, we ain't dying. Tim Timberland. Timberwalk. No, um, Timberland. Timber Ridge. Timber Ridge. There you go. Timber so we got Timber Ridge. Just out it's about nine out. miles. Okay, it looks like with uh, Sharni's multiple emergency room trips, notwithstanding, uh, it looks like Silver Spring Shores is going to go ahead and get this point too. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And that is going to be price. What is the lowest price for homes in your neighborhood? But, you know, like the biggest bang for your buck. I think That's Marion Oaks has this. I think you have more right now too We to do. Offer. We have more to offer. We have, um, I think our prices are lower right now than than the shores mm -hmm. yeah i would agree and we have a lot more builders too yeah more inventory in marion oaks even though we do have some in the shores but i think marion oaks alone i believe they say have 32 builders if not more at this marion point oaks yeah alone. different so. ones yeah um with one of the builders starting roughly around 249 okay well that's that's a good price uh sharni for a, an equivalent house what do you think um, maybe slightly higher than that. Right slightly, now? yeah. You're like two eighty nine, girlfriend. <laughs> prices have gone <laughs> up. Um, in the shores, yeah. Prices have you, gone you up. You got about forty thousand more than me. I got this one. Okay. Yeah, Mary knows got we one. got this one. You got this one. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. All right. You both have been living out there for a few years. So, who has the absolute best neighbors? I do. <laughs> You, you probably do. I probably <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, though, a lot of you've lived there since 1995. So you probably know the entire zip code anyway, right? Since 95. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Very active in the community. So I, I don't consider my neighbors just each side of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm less active in my community. Um, even though the Facebook page in my community, I made it, I but I really don't know too many people too in many the community. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to, you know, I need to go to more get-togethers and all that. So <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and give that one to uh, Mary Noakes then, and we'll see. <laughs> A lot, he's got that one down. All right, let's move on to the next one, and that is availability of jobs or prox proximity to the most jobs. Which one has the most? I think I got this. Oh my I, and goodness. the only reason why, well, the only reason why is because we got the Dollar Tree Distribution Center. True. That is in 34473. We have more warehouses coming. Mm -hmm. um, right now they started clearing land for another 844 homes, whether it's apartments, single family homes, plus you're putting in a new supermarket. That's awesome. That's on three. Yeah, that's almost across before you get to the Summer Glen Light. They already cleared all that there. Um, so, and with the warehouses that they're building too, mm -hmm. I really think Mary Noakes, when it comes to jobs, I think Mary Noakes. We have Pepsi on the other side of the Dollar Tree distribution in one of the warehouses they built. Yeah, mm -hmm. you definitely got this one. Yeah. I don't even have to say anything, but as far as jobs, 
you do have you know the stores that you can work at you know there's a walmart right close by so that's that's one place you can work or you can drive short don't short drive to yeah but it's not else. no more seven but two three four four seven not, two so three, mary four, four, knows seven, we got two. this yeah you got this <laughs> <laughs> okay okay that was uh it's a good so far you've been warmed up let's get into the tougher questions okay let's see who's quick to answer on this one of the two neighborhoods who has the most crime or who has the least crime Ooh, Ooh. this is tough Entire zip code. I mean, I haven't done research for that. I'm not gonna lie; I haven't done research either. If we, I think, if we both sat here and went in on doing research, I think it'd probably be about the same. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm not gonna throw numbers out there because I don't know. Because to to me, it's honestly any crimes I read is Facebook. Same. I have not been a victim of crimes yet. No. So hopefully never. Is nobody else disturbed by that yet that you just put in there? <laughs> What's with the yet? <laughs> that's why I don't put it in there. But, um, <laughs> and that's why, see, that that's exactly my point too, because I know, I think we both would agree mm -hmm. when it comes to the, to the crime. We don't see it. Yeah. We read it. Yeah, I read it. I read it on Facebook just like everybody else, but has it happened to me? So Me neither. Well, honestly, I've lived in both of you know Silver Spring Shores in right near Mary Oaks, so I'm gonna have to say I don't I've never had any kind of crime or anything like that happen to me either, and I I honestly felt about the same as far as safety in both neighborhoods. So let's just call this one a tie and go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so being realtors, we all know it's all about location, location, location. So of the two neighborhoods, which one do you think has the best location? I do. Come on now. <laughs> I'm like walking distance, not walking distance. I mean, with the traffic, you might want to do walking distance to 75. Okay. Um, uh, Marion Oaks is, is big, including Timberwalk is 37 square miles. So Marion Oaks is huge. Yeah, it is. Um, and I think with, with where we are located, we are central. And we're very close to either highway. You know, we're, we're, we're on 484. We're close to 75. We can take 49th all the way to 200. 484 all the way to 200. So I, I think location-wise, I think we're better. Yeah, I agree. I won't even debate you on that. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, it sounded like Alottie over here is feeling pretty good about herself and her neighborhood, Marion Oaks. Let's talk traffic since you brought up streets. All right. Okay, the Shores won this one. <laughs> <laughs> I got to admit, <laughs> that's a harsh one. So in, in my, see, in my situation, when I'm taking the kids to school, I have no issues, right? Because Mary Noakes Waterfall, I go to the left on 484. Now, if you go to the right, make sure you leave an hour early if you want to get to work on time. Because there is a lot of traffic, mm -hmm. and it's because of the construction and that light of 75 and, and Summer Glen. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, and because we have so many people and so many more people moving, moving yeah. it's, that's what's causing the traffic. But it's for like, it's got its time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, either leave before seven or leave after like eight. You have that one hour window where traffic galore. Yeah, for us, because we have Mary Camp, that helps with traffic. But maybe at night around 5.30 or 6 p.m. when everybody's like going home. Rush hour. Rush hour then traffic you find a little bit of traffic but nothing but it's not too as bad. bad as 484 because i've been down mm -hmm. your neck of the woods at that time and it's not as bad as yeah it's really not bad at yeah. all so i think we got this one you got sure. that one for or sure. you can go back in the back roads and stuff yeah. go to bellevue you have choices yeah i love how you guys are like so competitive on one hand but on the other hand you like concede defeat so easily this is a lot of fun thanks for participating all right let's do the next one shopping I mean, let's talk about like grocery stores and everything, like everything. What do they have? Mm -hmm. The Shores has that one. <laughs> Did you see how I put my head down like in sympathy? I'm like, we got a Winn-Dixie. We got yeah. a Winn-Dixie, a dollar, general family dollar. That's Yeah, for us, we have, I, I live really close to Walmart. Like literally I could pat my, put my pot to boil and then go get the stuff at the store and come back and the, the water is still not boiled yet. So it's really Charlie, close by. you don't have to be that extra. Right. Yeah. It's really close <laughs> by. <laughs> um, I live really close to Walmart. 
Publix. There is an Aldi right around. You do right have up, a new yeah, Aldi's out there. Right you have a the save corner. a lot. Save a lot. And mm -hmm. then we do have a Dollar Tree close by. We have a Family Dollar and a um, what do you call the Dollar other General? Dollar General. All of them right, right within about five minutes from each from other. From each other, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds like another easy win for Silver Spring Shores. How about community centers? You both community centers have very big, very active, very very vibrant uh, community centers. So, which one do you guys think is best? <sighs> so, I'm not gonna give this one up. I'm not gonna say I have the best one. You just have two pools. We do have a splash pad. <laughs> only for kids mm -hmm. I, I think the shorts has this one yeah we do have a very nice community center you pay about three hundred dollars for the year and you have access to so much and you we do have two pools okay one see is... i knew i shouldn't have back down guess what yeah you don't pay at mary noakes okay well you, you know but you don't pay, have pools you only pay, but we got a splash pad go go get a hose <laughs> hold same. yourself down <laughs> and we have a heated pool i mean you can beat that we have a gym <laughs> we got and tennis we courts too. Basketball courts. I don't know if I can give this one to a lot of based on the cost either, because not everybody pays for uh, the, you know, the three hundred dollars or whatever that's in the shores. When I was living there, I lived just around the corner from the community center. I loved going to the community center. The pools were amazing, and it cost us three dollars for the entire family for the year because it was on MSTU. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yes, a it depends. Of the mm -hmm. okay. Right. Exactly. So it depends on where you live in the shores. Maybe you will pay. Maybe you won't pay. For right. me, I would pay. But <laughs> right. someone who lives right outside of my community, Doesn't. they don't pay. And some people in my community, depending on which street they fell in, you know, to, um, they don't pay or right. they pay very minimal. So they got this. That's yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I've never used a splash pad, but I've seen it. It's cute. <laughs> for kids. Okay, Sharni, go ahead and dive a little deeper into that because not all of the listeners are as familiar with Silver Spring Shores. So you're in a community within the neighborhood. You're in a community within within, within the community. A community. Yep. Right, because these communities that we're talking about are huge. I mean, they are literally they could be the size of a city. They're in fact, it's probably bigger than some cities, right? They're that are big. Right. Okay, so the community within the Silver Spring Shores area, Sharni, uh, you're in a gated community then? Yeah, well, supposedly gated. <laughs> Somewhat gated, yes. So I'm in a community within the Silver Spring Shores community. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So we are now going to do our final one, and it's probably the hardest one. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and tally our results and find the winner to answer the question once and for all. So last one is schools. Who has better schools? Uh-oh, we're back to deer in the headlights. Don't all jump in at once. Come on, talk it up. Let's be honest. I know Eladi is the school expert. I, I have a lot. Of, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of schools in Marion Oaks or for what you're zoned for. Mm -hmm. They're okay schools. They are good schools. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And that's taking school choice because Marion County, of course, has school choice. So you don't necessarily have to go to the schools that you're zoned for. But we're talking about what you're actually zoned for. Which ones? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. You're going to edit this, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> um, because they're all horrible. <laughs> you're making me lie right now. You better edit this. <laughs> Me? I'm not making you do anything. I asked a simple question. So honestly, give your opinion. Go for it. Don't don't for, stress out. I mean, you've got kids in the neighborhood. So, so in 34473, we have Sunrise Elementary. We have Marion Oaks Elementary. They are building another elementary school, which I, I do know it has a name, um, but I've read it once. So I don't know yet. I, I don't remember the name off the top of my head but is it it is it's already being built so it already started um for middle school we have horizon academy and that's all we have in 34473 right now so we have two elementary schools one in the, on the way so that would be three elementary schools because we have the two built the one on the way and the middle school so we got four total inside of marino for us, I don't know the quality of the schools really because I don't really have kids in them like that. 
my nephews are in like a um, a private Christian school that's like right there in a in a church, and then I did have someone who did maybe one year in Lake Weir High, and then you have Lake Weir Middle School, you have Forest High School, and then you have Osceola Middle, Greenway Middle, Elementary, elementary Greenway Elementary, and that's all I can remember. Emerald Shores. Emerald elementary. Shores. Yeah, I, I remember Emerald Shores when I was living out there because that's what we were zoned for and uh, they weren't, they didn't score very well. And I don't, I don't think that they've come up that high in their scores. I'd have to check, but yeah. <laughs> Osceola though isn't 7-2. Is it not? Is it 8-0? No, no. I mean, she's right. Alati's right. Uh, the Osceola Middle and Forest High School, even though it's zoned for it, they are outside of the short. They're zoned for it, but it's not in mm -hmm. it's not in seven two. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right, because if we're going for what they're zoned for, that means that we would actually count Westport High School because a large portion of Marion Oaks is zoned for that and it's a great school. Correct. In Westport, even if you're not zoned for it, uh, and you don't do school choice, it's actually got a magnet program for the arts and for like um, music and, you know, basically all the arts. I mean, it's really kind of known for being uh, an art type school. Uh, it, you know, it has all the theater and the music and that amazing art program. Our son, uh, he actually learned, he came home in ninth grade and was like, hey, I want to learn to play the cello. And we're like, what? How do you even know what that is? And yeah, apparently his teacher wanted to start doing a string orchestra on top of everything else that she had going on there. And so she needed some cello players and he loved the teacher. So he went ahead and picked it up. And three very short years later, he actually was accepted into UF's music program based on his cello playing. And even though he's now graduating from FSU, he actually uh, still plays the cello and uh, the local orchestras and stuff. He's very good at it. And it's all thanks to Westport. So yeah, I mean, if you're going by what they're zoned for, but yeah, if we're sticking to just within the actual zip code, because we had to set down parameters, then yeah, I think the Shores did win that one. All right. Are you ready to tally? Yes. Yeah, right, let's do this. Okay. Well, it looks like we have a grand total. We had 11, so that there couldn't be any ties or anything like that. But we did have one actual tie between the two. So with a grand total of six for Silver Spring Shores, a tie, and then four for Marion Oaks, which I'm surprised. I definitely was, I was thinking more towards Marion Oaks, but... No, it, it looks like we have a solid winner of Silver Spring Shores as the better neighborhood for right now. Yay! Yay. I, st <laughs> I, I still like Marion Oaks. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't blame you. I do right. like Marion Oaks too, especially the new but houses we don't have building like there. A lot of, yeah. yeah, and I think it will come together. Eventually. 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 It's huge. Yeah. So. Hmm, that's actually a really, really interesting point. So since you both have been here for a few years now, several years, or more than several. And we've seen a huge amount of growth and where that's been and all of that. What do you think in five to 10 years, which do you think will be the better neighborhood? I mean, is it going to be Silver Spring Shores still, or is it going to be Marion Oaks? Marion Oaks, because Marianne I feel Oaks like probably. the Shores is almost done. Yeah. There really, there is building space there, but there isn't much left. Not, not as much as Marion Oaks. Not as Oaks. much as Marion Oaks. I, I feel like, yeah, the Silver Springs is almost topped out i think mm -hmm. with, I agree. with with land wise mm -hmm. i agree yeah so if somebody was wanting to invest or if somebody was wanting to be here for their forever home or something like that you would both say marion oaks would probably be the place to look even though it's not necessarily the absolute best right now it has a lot of room for growth and a lot of opportunity and possibilities absolutely for, for the future, future. Mm -hmm. i mean the last two homes i sold were in marion oaks right. so I think people are looking at these things too. So They are. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure that there's a lot of opinions out there and a lot of people are going to want to weigh in on this one as to which they think is the better one because everybody always is, their side is their favorite. 
I know when I was in Silver Spring Shores, I was like, this is the best neighborhood ever. I love it. I never want to leave here. And then I had to because I got married. And now I'm like, oh my goodness, I love Southwest Ocala. This is great. It's amazing. I wouldn't want to move back over to Silver Spring Shores. It's so far out. It's it's crazy. You you really get to love the neighborhood. And honestly, it kind of feels like sometimes people treat it as if it's like their favorite football team or something like that. You ask them where they live and it's like Southeast, Southwest, um, Silver Spring Shores, Bellevue. You know, they have their favorite. And it's so funny because it's the same area, but it's like they have to trash talk the other neighborhood. It's so crazy because they're so incredibly the same. They're so similar. In fact, if you really look into the history of Silver Spring Shores and Marion Oaks, it was actually the same basic developers way back in the day. Look into the history of the developments and it's crazy. If you really look into uh, the history of a company called General Development, which was Silver Spring Shores originally, and then a part broke off and became Deltona. And Deltona to this day is still selling in Mary Oaks. You can go to their office. It's crazy. So yeah, I think both communities have a lot of similarities, a lot of things in common, um, but they also have their own unique personalities. So anyway, I greatly appreciate both of you coming in here and talking about your neighborhoods. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. <laughs> I honestly don't remember the last time I had so many hot topics up on this radio show. But next week, we are going to get in even deeper because we are going to be talking to somebody that lives within the city limits of Ocala and has been living in and around Ocala for her almost her entire life. And we're also going to be talking to somebody that lives just outside of Ocala and has never lived within the city limits. So it should be really interesting to see those two go toe to toe and head to head and decide what's better to live within the city limits of Ocala or just outside in one of the smaller cities or in one of the many subdivisions just outside. So we'll see what happens with those two. If there's questions you would like me to go ahead and put to them, then go ahead and put it up on our Facebook page. You can either do that at the Ocala uh, classic Hits Facebook page, or you can put them up on the Great Expectations Realty Facebook page. Either way, go ahead and let us know what you thought of the show, what you agree with, what you don't. It's cool. We want to hear from you. And uh, let us know if there's something that you, you think uh, we should ask or you think that a topic that we should tackle. We are definitely interested in what you have to say. So let us know. Again, you can go on Facebook and go to the Classic Hits Ocala Facebook page, uh, or you can go to Facebook and it's Great Expectations Realty Facebook page. So either way, let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you thought of the show today. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a great time with both you, Elati, and you, Sharni. And I'm sure everybody got a big kick out of it and hopefully got not just entertained, but also educated and uh, got to see some other opinions and stuff. So, okay, before I let you go for the week, a lot of you have been telling me that you missed the segment about uh, what the market is doing with real estate and also what the interest rates are. I did not realize you were enjoying the segment that much, but I will make sure to include it from now on. Uh, so yes, this is where we talk about uh, the market here in Marion County over the last seven days. This is for residential properties only. And new listings, we had 283 this week, price increases 52, price decreases 372. Hmm, I think the house prices are still falling. What do you think? All right, back on the market, we had 74 sold, 254. Oddly enough, that is actually more than what it's been the last few months. So the houses are still selling. Expired, we had 22. Leased, a big fat zero. That's nothing surprising there. Pending, 306. Temporarily off the market, 20. Withdrawn, 11. And canceled, 58. So 58 individuals said, you know what? I think I'm going to stay right here. I appreciate it, but no. So what is going on with the average interest rate? Well, thanks to uh, 
the those over at my friends over at Bankrate. I love Bankrate. They give me some really great information, really simple to get to. So if you want to check it out, bankrate.com, you can go over there. If you're looking for a really easy to use uh, mortgage calculator to figure out what you can afford in your mortgage or uh, what you can expect using the you know current um, uh, fixed rate mortgage and all of that and what the difference is between 15 year and 30 year and all that. Anyway, you can go over to Prime Lending and just put in their mortgage calculators and they have all sorts of ones. You can do USDA, FHA, VA, uh, conventional. Uh, you can put in different things for, you know, your down payment. You can put in no down payment if you're doing VA or USDA. Uh, just a lot of different stuff. And of course, it's going to depend on your finances and you know, your debt to income and your credit score and all of that stuff too, but it still gives you a pretty good idea of what you can afford and, and what you can expect, which is great. It's a fantastic tool and I love how easy it is to use. Okay, they're not paying me for this. This is just, if I go to use a mortgage calculator, that's the one I go to because it is so simple and easy to get to. And if I wanna know what the national average interest rate is at any given time, I'm gonna go over to bankrate.com. Very simple, right? All right, so now you know all of my big secrets. Oh, they're not very big secrets, but anyway, that's where the information is. So 30 year fixed rate mortgage is 7.5, ouch. 30 year fixed, rate, uh, fixed FHA is 7.0. So you would actually get a much, much better rate if you are going FHA. And FHA is only 3.5% uh, for a down payment just in case you were wondering. A lot of people are still under the assumption that they have to do 20% down. That is not the case and has not been the case for quite some time. Now, maybe if you're doing an investment property or something like that or a second home, okay, then yeah, probably. But if you're doing your own home, yeah, you're probably gonna do 3.5%. Even on conventional, you can do 3.5%, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also go ahead and use, you know, what you were going to use for a down payment, go ahead and down, buy down points, and then you're going to have less of an interest rate. That goes into a whole nother thing. We're not even going to get into that right now, but what I am going to tell you is if you are doing fixed, a uh, 30 year fixed FHA or a 30 year fixed VA, you're going to pay 7.0%. Uh, if you're going to do a conventional 30 year fixed 7.5. That's the national average. Again, you may get a little bit better um, or even a lot better depending on what you're buying through who and all of that fun stuff. I know that there are some, um, some builders out there and developers that are offering amazing interest rates to get you into one of their homes. So yeah, uh, that is what the national average is um, by and large. Now, if you get into it and you are doing, you're taking all of the, uh, all of the refis out and all of that fun stuff, and we are just doing, uh, just new purchase only. That's when you can see slightly better rates. A uh, 30 year fixed rate is going to be 6.8%. Um, and a 15 year fixed rate conventional is 6.2. So that's something right there. Now, the 30 year fixed rate FHA um, on just new purchases only not having the refis in there or anything like that, it's gonna be 6.7. So it actually goes the opposite. So kind of interesting stuff, uh, interesting stuff in there completely. But go in there, take a look around and see the information for yourself. But I'm gonna say they're right around, you're gonna be in between 6.7 and 7.5 uh, on average, no matter what kind of mortgage you get uh, out there. That's just, that's the going rate right now. Again, if you do go through a builder, some of them are offering to buy down points for you. That's also something you can negotiate. So negotiations right now, the ball is definitely in the buyer's court. You can definitely see that by having almost 400 houses drop in price yet again this week. So yeah, they're definitely, the sellers are out there to negotiate. So even though you have a higher interest rate, you can go ahead and buy down those points and you can seriously negotiate 
with those sellers. So a very good time for you guys out there. Just uh, the last few years, I mean, buyers were getting pummeled. So I guess it's your turn. I mean, it's got to be your turn eventually, right? So, <laughs> so that is what is going on out in the world of real estate right now. And yes, we are definitely bringing this segment back. I did not realize so many of you missed it. You know, this is why I keep saying we want some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. So please reach out. If there is something that you want to hear about, please reach out. We would love to hear what you want to talk about. All right. All right. Thanks so much for listening. And we will see you next week. Uh, same time, same place, Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Bye. You've been listening to What's Up Ocala? Follow us all week on Andrea Praber's YouTube channel and TikTok. We'll see you next week at 10 a.m. on What's Up Ocala.